Amid increasingly complex geopolitical dynamics, navies from various countries are racing to develop the latest generation of frigates. These warships are now emerging as the backbone of future maritime power, thanks to major leaps in design, technology, and sophistication of combat systems. Modern frigates such as the UK's Type 26, the Italian-French FREMM, and the Spanish F-110 represent a new direction in naval warfare. No longer just patrol or escort vessels, frigates are now positioned as multifunctional combat platforms capable of dealing with a variety of threats, from surface ships and submarines to airstrikes and hypersonic missiles. One of the main characteristics of the latest generation of frigates is stealth capability. The design of the hull and superstructure is such as to reduce radar, infrared, and acoustic footprint. This allows the ship to operate closer to the conflict zone without being easily detected by the enemy. On the armament side, the latest frigates are equipped with long-range surface-to-air missile systems, vertical launchers, VLS, and advanced torpedoes. Close-in defense systems such as Phalanx, C, IWS, or CRAM provide an additional layer of protection against approaching threats. Sensor and radar systems have also been revolutionized. Multifunctional AESA radars allow simultaneous detection of air and surface threats and are capable of precision missile launch guidance. Some frigates have even begun to be equipped with artificial intelligence AI systems to support quick decision-making on the battlefield. In potentially fast-paced and complex future naval conflicts, the frigate plays a critical role as a link between large aircraft carriers and small high-speed vessels. Their flexibility and autonomy make frigates ideal for joint operations, escort, reconnaissance, and even precision strike missions. Defense analysts from the European Institute of Maritime Strategy say, the modern frigate is no longer just a complement to the fleet, but a key asset that can adapt quickly to the dynamics of modern combat. With tensions rising in the world's sea areas, investment in a new generation of frigates is an inevitable strategic move. The future of naval warfare will not only be determined by the power of aircraft carriers or submarines, but also by the presence of smart, fast, and lethal frigates on the front lines. The decision by many countries to allocate large budgets for new generation frigates is not simply a matter of fleet modernization, but a reflection of a broader change in strategic orientation. In an era where conflicts can be sudden and unconventional, speed of response and flexibility are key. Modern frigates answer that need, allowing maritime operations to be conducted with speed, precision, and sustainability without having to rely entirely on aircraft carriers or large battle groups. Tensions in the South China Sea, Indo-Pacific waters, and the Black Sea show how the sea has become the main stage of global power competition. In this context, frigates play the role of frontline guardians of sovereignty, capable of acting independently or as part of integrated combat formations. They can patrol vulnerable zones escort logistics ships, and conduct reconnaissance and interdiction operations. In addition, frigates are also starting to be seen as a symbol of diplomatic power. Their presence in joint exercise missions or multinational patrols shows a country's commitment to maintaining regional stability. In many cases, the frigate is used as a representation of soft power, a negotiating tool that moves above the surface of the sea. Yet, despite all this, challenges remain. The surge in development costs, the need for technically trained crews, and the potential for conflict escalation due to the deployment of sophisticated warships to sensitive zones are issues that must be managed carefully. Frigate development, then, is not only about technology, but also about long-term strategy 
military diplomacy, and preparedness for changing forms of conflict. With all these factors, it is clear that the frigate has gone beyond its function as a mere combat ship. It now stands as a new axis in the doctrine of modern naval warfare, an axis that will determine the direction of the global maritime power constellation in the next few decades. This transformation has also affected the way the world's navies define their maritime power. Where once sea power was synonymous with the number of strategic aircraft carriers and submarines, today, the measure of tactical and operational success is also measured by how effectively frigates can carry out complex missions in short notice and uncertain environments. Modern frigates offer an ideal balance of firepower, agility, and battlefield survivability. They can do everything from anti-submarine warfare to air defense to ground attack support without requiring too many escort ships. This flexibility is what makes frigates so important in today's maritime strategy. Furthermore, the modular design of many new generation frigates allows technological updates to be made incrementally without the need to replace the entire ship. This is a smart, long-term solution, especially amidst defense budget pressures and the rapid development of military technology. With an open system, navies can customize their frigates according to the needs of the operating area and evolving threats. In the future, frigates are even projected to become network-based combat control centers, connecting satellite systems, drones, maritime patrol aircraft and other combat platforms in a fully integrated warfighting ecosystem. The role of humans will remain vital, but will be further strengthened by the support of artificial intelligence and real-time data analytics that accelerate decision-making in the theater of conflict. Looking at the direction of these developments, it is no exaggeration to call frigates the spearhead of the silent revolution in the world of naval military. They come not with a great roar, but with a sophistication hidden beneath their sleek and deadly design. With this direction of development, the future of the oceans will no longer be dominated solely by slow, conspicuous behemoths, but rather by agile, intelligent, and nearly invisible fleets like the new generation of frigates that are now the backbone of global maritime strategy. Behind their sleek silhouettes lurks a formidable force that represents a new era of naval warfare. One that is not always visible, but is decisive. And in the midst of this sea change, one thing is clear. Whoever controls the frigate may well control the world's waters in the future.